Contra Operation Galuga is a game I've been excited for for quite a while. Back when they revealed that gameplay footage, it really does seem as if they were returning to the roots of classic retro Contra. Plus, with way forward at the helm, my hype levels got even higher. However, after spending some time with the demo and getting some hands-on experience, I wanted to do a video talking about my first impressions of the game. And the first thing I did with this demo, much like any true Contra fan did, was up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA. Right, we got a chime sound so that's good news and let's see in nope no 30 lives which sucks because let's be honest using this code is how most of us beat the original game for the first time back in the day so let's back out and look at the actual settings the game has to offer and there are several of them first we have story mode which only features lance and bill as playable characters this mode does offer cutscenes and some dialogue, which gives you backstory into the game. By the way, depending on which character you pick, some of the banter you encounter throughout the level does change. It's been a while, Bill. What are you doing here? We're here to save your ass. It's been a while, Lance. Enjoying the island so far? <laughs> well, well. If it's not the GX Army's mascot. Hey, Sam. Now, if you happen to select arcade mode, you have more playable characters and the game skips all the cutscenes for you. You just jump straight into the action. No boring story interrupting that action gameplay. Plus, in arcade mode, the bosses do extra moves, which is incredible. However, the options don't stop there. You have three different difficulties, easy, medium, and hard. And you actually get to determine if the game has a health meter or that traditional one hit kill approach. Going even further, after you select your character, you select up to two perks. Some of these are character specific. For example, Bill gets some iframes while dashing, while Lance can jump even higher with the double jump, which I think is pretty cool. However, if you're a Contra pro like me, you're going to select arcade mode, put the game on hard, select zero perks, and definitely turn on one hit kill. Me, all Contras can jump a second time. Aim with more precision by holding down a. On top of that, Operation Gluga has what is called the overload function, which allows a second firing type to be used from your power-ups. However, these special abilities come at a cost. You lose the power-up you're currently carrying. So if you have a level 2 weapon equipped and you use the overload feature, it drops it to a level 1. If you have a level 1 equipped and you use this feature, you go back down to the basic rifle. Now, the major drawback of these ultimate powers, in my opinion, is so far, most of them just flat out suck. It's actually better in my experience of playing this demo multiple times to hang on to a level 2 weapon than it is to use an ultimate ability. The only reason I can see using the ultimate powers is there is a perk to regain one health point every time you use this overload feature. So it's sort of a way to refill your health gauge and not really meant as an offensive attack. It's a weird balance on the part of the developers that this, in my opinion, has turned into more of a defensive ability instead of an offensive ability. Plus, some of these overload features just flat out confused me of what was happening on the screen. Just look at the spread shot and everything all going on. It's just a nightmare and this was just in single player. Just imagine this in two, three, or, or even four player co-op. This function is just going to be a nightmare of screen clutter. Or how about this? For example, I used the fire overload ability on the boss, which created a fire spike on the ground, which was really disappointing because it basically did nothing to this boss at all. So yeah, it was pretty much worthless, but I wanted to try it out and I had the fire gun. But on top of that, the fire that I made on the ground looks a lot like the fireballs the boss is spitting at me. To make matters worse, when the fireball landed onto the ground from the boss, it left some flames behind that stayed for a few seconds. Now you could say my fire spike is a different shape, 
But imagine if this was two players and the other player used the overload feature and you weren't really paying attention. On top of that, just look at all the crap on the screen. There's my fire spike, his fireballs, his flames that stay on the ground, poison bubbles that really blend into the background at all times that are constantly falling out of his severed arms, his spike in the foreground which covers part of the screen, it's just so easy to lose track of what is happening on screen. And this was just single player, I can't even imagine this in co-op. I really wish player attacks and enemy attacks did not look so similar. In fact, I wish enemy attacks didn't really just blend into the background or you didn't have stuff in the foreground blocking part of the screen. It was just chaos. Now, I will 100% admit this might be just a get good moment. Maybe I'm just getting older and it's just harder for my eyes to keep up with screen clutter. But to be honest, the only workaround I found for this was just to kill the boss before his arms got blown off so I didn't have to deal with the poison and help clean up some of the screen clutter. However, bullet visibility is not my major gripe with this game. My major complaint about this game is the fact the game is going to cost $40, which is absolutely insane. When games like Streets of Rage 4 and Shredder's Revenge, the pinnacles of throwback titles only cost $25 at launch, and Contra is nearly going to be double that is a major problem. I have no idea why this game is going to cost so much. Let's be real. While I personally don't mind the graphics, they're mobile quality games. This looks like it could be a phone game. The game does not have any high budget set pieces or cutscenes. The voice acting is so-so and it's only going to be eight levels long. There's absolutely no reason why this thing should be 40 bucks. Once you enter that price range, you're competing with more high quality AA titles like Helldivers 2 or Last Epoch. That being said, I will admit I had a complete blast playing the demo and I do want to play more of it. After all, it was a lot of fun. While I do have some gripes, I do admit it was just a fun game and I'm definitely going to be picking this one up. I'm just not sure if I'm going to drop 40 bucks on it. I might wait for a sale. But I would love to hear what you all think. Are you guys going to be picking up Contra Operation Galuga? Did you play the demo? And if so, what did you think of it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you made it this far and did enjoy the video, let me know by dropping a like. And if you are new, please consider subscribing. As for me, I got a lot of work to do, so I'm going to get back to the grind and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.